Hello everyone and welcome to another Jolly Tots at Home. Today we're going to have a story, sing a song and make a Tower of Babel. So let's get ready to watch and listen. Let's wiggle our fingers. Well done. Today Ruth is going to say hello to everyone. Hello all the boys, hello all the girls, hello everyone, it's nice to see you here. Now it's time for the story. So let's wiggle our fingers and get ready to listen. Well done. Did you know that people live in lots of different countries all over the world? and they speak different languages. They use different words. In this country, most of us speak English. In France, they speak French. In Spain, they speak Spanish. And in Greece, they speak Greek. So instead of saying hello to everyone, they say bonjour, or hola, or yasu. In today's story, we're going to find out how it happened that people live in different countries and speak different languages. The story is found in God's storybook, the Bible, in Genesis chapter 11, and it's called The Tower of Babel. After Noah and his family came out of the ark, they had children and grandchildren, and soon there were lots of families. They all lived together and they only spoke one language. They used the same words. They came to a plain in Babylonia and decided to live there. They said, let's make bricks and tar to hold the bricks together. And they said, let's build a city to live in and a tower that reaches to the heaven. So they worked together and built a city to live in. Then they started to build a tower. The tower got higher and higher. When God saw the city and the tower they were building, he said, if the people are all one people and speak one language, they will be able to do anything they want. This is only the beginning of what they are going to do. I will mix up their language so they can't understand each other. So they all started speaking in different languages. They didn't know what they were saying. So they couldn't work together and they couldn't finish building the tower. Then God scattered the people all over the earth and the tower was called the Tower of Babel. Now we're going to sing a song, it's called My God is so big and it goes like this. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, and he can do all things through you. So let's sing it. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, and he can do all things through you. Today we're going to make a Tower of Babel that goes higher and higher, like this. So to do this we need an A4 sheet of paper, some coloured paper and some brown paper. This is a, from some packaging from a parcel that okay. came. So we need coloured pens glue, scissors, pencil and ruler. So first of all, cut your A4 piece of paper in half. 
like this. And one half, draw a rectangle, which is seven centimeters wide and 14 centimeters high. And then with a pen, draw some lines across for the different layers of bricks. Then cut your brown paper into squares and rectangles to make the bricks and stick them on your big rectangle. And when it's filled up, use your ruler and a pen and measure three centimetres in the middle at the top and draw a line and then from the bottom draw a diagonal on either side to make the shape of the tower and then cut it out so it looks like this and put that to one side and on the other sheet of paper that you had, the other half, cut a slit that's about six centimetres long for the tower to go through. And then I've drawn some hills and the people who are being scattered. And then with the coloured paper, I've made some little houses. So we'll stick those on to finish it off. If you haven't got coloured paper or brown paper, you can just use your pens to draw them. Get your tower and from behind feed it through the slot. And then you can push it up to make it go higher. And then with the pen, right, the tower. Then you can remember how God made the different languages and scattered the people to the different countries in the world. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll say goodbye. Goodbye, all the boys. Goodbye, all the girls. Goodbye everyone, it's nice to see you here.